salutations friends welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be another fragrance first impression and it's going to be on the fragrance from Miss Sony I think it's called Miss Sony so if you'd like to know what I think about this fragrance then keep watching Now let me just quickly tell you guys how these videos work. If you are unfamiliar with how my first impressions videos work, if this is your first time tuning in. I have a fragrance that I have never tried on my skin. In a lot of cases, I've never even smelled it before, but it has never touched my skin. So if I have tested it on a strip or somebody else, I don't know how it's gonna perform and last on my skin. I spritz it on my skin, wait a few seconds, and give you my first impression of the opening, and then I will come back in about 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes longer, and I'll give you my first impressions of the dry down. Now I do know it takes longer than one wear to be able to truly give you guys a review based on how it develops on the skin, its sillage and longevity. So what I like to do is wear throughout the sample throughout the week and at the end of the next first impressions video, I'll give you a little mini review or a little kind of quick first impressions on how the fragrance developed on my skin and how long it lasted. So that means at the end of this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a little mini review recap of the last first impressions uh, fragrance I did, which was Thai Eve from Ormond Jane. But today we're doing a designer fragrance and it's Miss Sony and this is Eau de Toilette. And I've actually never smelled this before. So let's get into the fragrance. Now I do have some samples of this that I just haven't gotten around to smelling that I took out of their little boxes. And then um, one of my essays was very generous and she like mailed me like a ton of samples. And this was one of them. And I was just kind of reminded that I had never tried this before and I thought it might be nice to do it as an impression today. Cause I like doing a mix of things for you guys. Affordable, designer, niche, luxury, you know, like, you know, I like these videos to have a nice um, variety. So this was created in 2016 and the nose is Quentin Fish. And the notes in this are the top notes are blood orange, pink pepper, nashi pear, water flowers. The heart notes are freesia, peony, hope I said that right, rose water, and rosifolia. And the base notes are heliotrope, musk, white cedar wood, and georgie wood. Now, I'm not familiar with georgie wood, but when I was looking at all the notes of this, this is to me, it should feel very fruity and floral and feminine. I'm expecting something kind of like YSL Mon Paris or some of the fragrances from Escada that are just very ultra feminine, youthful, flirty, and very sweet. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. So let's take it out of its box. And this is what the sample vial looks like. I'm not wearing anything today. Barely wearing any makeup because today's a work day for me. And I'm spritzing. And I'm spritzing. And I'll come back in like 20 seconds after this has settled on my skin and will give you my first impressions of the opening. It's too hot for hair down in Florida. That beautiful cold front is gone. Okay, let's talk about the opening. Now, when I was reading these notes, the notes that really kind of had me excited was the pink pepper and the pear and the peony and the heliotrope. I want this to be a really sweet, fruity, musky fragrance. I really want this to be very musky and very sweet because I feel like if it's too sweet, eh, if it's too musky, eh, but actually when they come together, it's really nice. So let's see. This is sitting a lot closer to my skin than I thought it would. Normally fragrances, specifically designer fragrances, even if there's like skin scents, they're immediately like really loud. This is really close to my skin. Um, hmm. hmm. Okay, so this is coming off a little bit soapy. I guess that could be the freesia. Getting a little bit of pear, a little bit of pear, a little bit of musk. I'm not getting any orange, no citrus in this. I think the musk is kind of masking that. No rose, not even so much floral. It's like a fruity musk, which is nice, but it kind of needs one of the florals. And the freesia just kind of smelling like a soap. It's very soapy, very clean. Not, not a bad scent, but not what I was expecting based on the notes. So basically what I'm going to do is a fragrance like this, I don't think it needs a long time to dry down on my skin, specifically because fruity notes and things like that tend to wear away quite frequently. And because this is sitting so close to my skin, 
almost immediately. I don't want it to completely disappear before I get to the dry down. So I'm gonna give it about 20 minutes, maybe 15, and I'll be right back and let you guys know what I think. Now don't get this confused with the original Eau de Parfum that was released, I think, a year earlier. This is the Eau de Toilette. Different notes, different experiences. So I just kind of, I forgot to mention that in the beginning. I meant to, and I was just trying to get through my little intro as fast as possible. But this is the Eau de Toilette, not the Eau de Parfum, and they do have different notes. So it's been about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, and it's settled on my skin a little bit. It has changed a little bit, and I'm ready to let you guys know what I think of the dry down. So um, I just like to do this just because it kind of reminds me. This is sitting so close to the skin. I don't usually have fragrances that sit this close to the skin unless they're like a natural fragrance or it's like a niche fragrance or there's something about it that I would expect it to be more of a skin scent, especially in the first half an hour. This sits so close to my skin. My husband, I was like, smell it. And he was like this and he's like, what are you wearing? And he doesn't like fragrances like this. And he lets me know he doesn't like fragrances like this. So this is sitting really close to my skin, a little bit more than I thought it should. But the smell of this is actually really nice. The longer it was on my skin, the more of the rose came out and it got some more of the white florals. I couldn't quite pick out exactly what they were. And that's really what this fragrance needed. You had the freesia, you had the pear. I still didn't get much citrus or blood orange, but I did get a really nice kind of musky fruitiness to this, which although was really nice, was a little bit underwhelming. But when the florals came out, it was actually very pleasant. It's a very nice, sweet, very youthful fragrance, but the muskiness actually makes this a little bit more mature. And I know, right? Mature and youthful, but I love it when fragrances have that juxtaposition. Sometimes it's a juxtaposition of notes, sometimes it's a juxtaposition of how the fragrance makes you feel. So the elements of the fruitiness and the florals, it makes this a very youthful daytime fragrance, but the muskiness almost makes this more of a professional, mature fragrance in all the positive ways. And the fact that they come together so well creates this really it's actually nice. a really pleasant experience. I'm really enjoying this fragrance. Now there's nothing groundbreaking about this fragrance. There's nothing new. You've definitely smelled this before. But what I like about fragrances like this and when there's a little bit of a different element to it to make it a little bit different. A lot of times when you see fruity fragrances like this, you might see added vanilla or tonka bean or something to really sweeten it up. Or you might see it be really heavy on one specific flower or you might see it be musk. And the thing with musk is musk can be a winner in a fragrance or it can completely just overpower all the other notes and make it smell dated and cheap and just not very nice at all. But I really think that there's a nice blend of sweet and youthful and playful florals and fruits with this really beautiful kind of like mature musk. It comes to graphic comes together to create a really nice fragrance. I'm actually really enjoying this. Now, I would probably say that smell-wise, this is very safe. It's been done before, and it's definitely nothing new or groundbreaking. But overall, as a fragrance, it's pretty nice. I would say based just on the smell, it's probably work appropriate. Maybe not so much in an area where you sit so close, like next to somebody, but if you're in a cubicle or if you're working in an area where you can walk around freely, this might be a nice scent to wear. I wouldn't say it is completely professional appropriate because of the musk, but I can definitely see it be something you could wear that would be really nice. It is sitting so close to my skin though. That is the only thing I have to say that this is not projecting at all, like not even a little bit. So I'm definitely going to wear through the sample and probably dig out the other samples that I have to see how maybe I need to apply more than just what I had just on my two wrists. Maybe I need to put some on my clothes to see how this projects because this is a fragrance that is nice enough and mainstream enough that you would want it to project a little bit louder than just 10 centimeters off of your skin. Also with fragrances that tend to immediately um, sit on my skin intimately and not project at all, I also worry about longevity. So I'm going to be um, wearing through my samples to see how long this lasts. I don't think this is going to last longer than four hours, but we'll see. But it's definitely enjoyable and I have been liking wearing it the past 20 minutes. So anyway, yeah, that's my thoughts on Missoni. 
um, the eau de toilette. So far it's very pretty. It did take about 20 minutes for their florals to come out and kind of like come to, it brings together the musk and the fruit and it makes it really pretty, nice, uh, beautiful mix of mature and youthful. And overall, it's really pretty. I'm liking so it. Last week's fragrance, la not last week's, because I've been working so much, I haven't been able to wear enough fragrances because I've been in and out, sweating. It's just been not a good time for me to have these be weekly. That's why they've been bi-weekly. But last fragrance first impressions was Thai Eve from Ormond Jane. And I was really excited for this because this was supposed to be some oriental sheer rose fragrance and in the opening it was gorgeous and then in the initial dry down I was kind of like this is nice not what I expected and then as it sat on my skin a lot longer after about four hours it's when the date and the saffron and everything came out it was really really pretty I wore through my sample <laughs> and another sample that I found that the person had sent me because we did a swap and they were so generous and I've got to say that that is a ridiculously gorgeous fragrance for hot humid climates. I'm going to be doing a complete review on it because I will be purchasing a bottle of it in the future but I just kind of wanted to preference this. If you like oriental fragrances, if you like rose fragrances, if you like fragrances that are aromatic and just have a lot of power to them but you live in a hot humid climate it's hard to find fragrances that balance the, oh my gosh, it's hot soup weather outside, and I want to wear the heaviest, skankiest, um, you know what I mean, like skanky barnyard oud, or just really powerful, heavy fragrance, and it's just sometimes it's hard, and we gotta stick with the basics or the light ones, but you still have that desire to wear something substantial, and this is definitely a fragrance that just teeters the line beautifully. It has this beautiful kind of marine, almost aquatic, acidic green rose, and the date and the saffron in there is just beautiful oriental elements, but it is so sheer, and it did take me two or three times to really appreciate all the complexity this fragrance it has, and it took the weather warming up drastically, <laughs> quite drastically, we're looking at having a 95 degree Christmas again, to really appreciate the beauty of this fragrance. So. It's a beautiful dry green marine rose. Love the saffron and date in it is spectacular. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, definitely want to purchase a bottle of anyway, it. Anyway, sorry for this weird video. Um, I promise after the holidays, my videos will get back to be me being more composed. I'm just very tired because I'm working late into the nights and waking up really early. But I wanna film and be here for you guys because I really enjoy it. So yeah, that's my thoughts on Missoni Eau de Toilette and also Taif from Ormond Jane. Again, if you want to know my final like little mini review first impressions of Missoni, uh, it will be in the next first impressions video. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and suffering through my unprofessionalism, but thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my fragrance first impressions and my reviews and things like this, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free. And I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye!